Why is being a Nick fan so damn stressful? <laughs> Why are the Nick team acting like they're the Nick fans? Did you see them at the end of the game? They were excited and happy, exactly the same way we are, like it was a playoff game. Take note. What's up guys, welcome back to Terry and Trey, the Knicks after a two game skid against the Nets and the 76ers. Get back to the garden and almost choke a 16 point lead, but just hang on at the end. Reggie Bullock with a clutch steal at the end. We're able to run it out. Burks gets away from the guys, doesn't get fouled. We win by one point against the Magic. We've lost nine in a row and are definitely starting to tank. But you know what? We're down big bodies right now. I don't care how we get it done. We got to get it done. Uh, well, both teams are actually down big bodies, right? Because Orlando Magic also didn't have your namesake, Terrence Ross, playing today. They also didn't have... A Say again? Could be a Nick soon. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, bo both teams are missing significant players, right? So everyone has to step up. It's the name of the game. This happens. People get injured. People are going to be out for certain days. COVID's going to have people out. So everyone has to learn how to do this. And we had three burners on on the stove tonight. I felt like <laughs> those three-pointers, I mean, ha having guys, and I know you don't talk about Frank too much, but having guys that are able to come in and score three-pointers, like sort of randomly, if you will, I love that. I, I love that we were able to get that many points from those three guys and that they were three pointers. It was beautiful. I like that. It's, it's, three, it's threes we needed. They were timely. Um, you know, in general, I think you feel like this too because the Knicks have just been behind the curve for so long. I don't, like, you don't watch as many games as, as, as uh, of, of the rest of the NBA. So it's pretty normal to have this, but we've just been a team that's been behind <laughs> the times. In 2013, you were ahead of the time. When we were shooting through before, a lot of teams were going this crazy. Um, and then, if, since then, we've been like playing like a 90s team. But regardless, as you said, clutch buckets tonight. But the MVP of tonight and the MVP of the season, despite his bad shooting, not the best game from him, scoring-wise. But you saw the vibe. You saw him screaming at Reggie at the end. You saw, ah, you love it because he's, he's such a captain. Julius! Julius! King Julius! <laughs> um, again, listen, 17 assists. I was praying he would get the record. So I'm going to, this is a personal thing for me, guys. I remember watching in 2008 when Chris Duhon got the record of 22 assists. Chris uh -huh. Duhon was an average point guard, but he got it because he was playing in Mike D'Antoni's offense. And in Mike D'Antoni's offense, everybody goes crazy. So I remember watching the game and he got the assist. I was in college at the time. And he got the assist and I was like, why the hell does he have this record? This sucks. Forever Chris Duhon is going to have a record in the New York Knicks book. So I was really hoping he would get past 22 tonight. Okay. He did it, but he had an incredible game. Julius Randle, what more can you say? Yeah, um, what more can I say about Julius? Um, I think the coach says that you're playing the game isn't always about scoring points, right? So I think Julius showed us that tonight. So that fits right in with Tom Thibodeau's, um, with his way of thinking. So Julius can give us points, we know that, and he doesn't always have to, but he can still be very effective in the game, even if he's not giving us 30 points a game. And I think that's what we saw tonight. The crazy thing about Julius is he's actually good at everything. No, no, I'm not even kidding. The way he's playing this season, right? He's decent enough defensively and he can be good at times, right? Obviously, he's shooting his three. He's getting to the basket. He's strong. He's fast, very fast for his size. He can pass. Julius Randle getting 17 assists on this really bad... Like, we're not that good. Listen, don't get me wrong. Winning games, you're fighting in there. This, this team is not good. You imagine when Julius Randle has a second star to play with or if RJ becomes that yes. star. Like yes. Eventually, we're getting someone this summer. Not someone big, we're getting better pieces this summer. Yeah. Do you imagine what Julius is going to look like when the focus is not him? Because it's so clear tonight, especially with us down rows, down quickly. It's right. all focused on Julius and a little bit on RJ. And the fact that he's having these games, you talk about him having 17 assists, right? This is the last kind of game you'd think he would have 17 assists. Because you would think with guys out, he's thinking, I got to score everything. You know right. what I mean? It right. shows you, I, I have no worries about Julius ever being who he was when he was bad last year right. at times. He's, he's changed fully. I know people have been kind of worried, oh, Julius, do this. He is this. Rebecca was giving him props. He's getting the MVP chance. He's with the teammates. It, it, it's such a beautiful story. I, I could talk about Julius for the whole show. <laughs> All right, so and let's Frank, go to the next guy. Who else do you want to talk about? about? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to talk about Frank. Back from the dead again. 
Listen, every 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 time every time we think that he's going 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 gone, he like shows back up. Here's the thing: he did not score in the last four games, right? So finally, so finally, so finally, he scores and he hits back to back threes. Right, but but what I saw that was different, and, and it was and it was for just a, a moment. He had this confidence button, like he picked. He, like it's almost like you know when you're a Boy Scout and you go to pick up your new, your new badge you get, that you sew onto the side of your shirt. So he went and picked up his confidence badge today. He came out. He played confident. He was aggressive on the offense, which we were saying the other day that he's not. Um, so much so, I mean, didn't crack a smile, and they and they zoomed in on that. I know you, you saw that. Where his face was just in like beast mode, they grabbed him, and he just he, he did not okay, practice okay, mode, which, not, the dunk, the dunk, which by the, the way, which by the way is not his normal stance. He actually is a guy that would normally kind of give a big chuckle or a big smile. So maybe he needs to toughen up a little bit. Well, I, listen, Frank is such a weird guy, and I, I'll say it again. He, I think he is tough, just tough in a weird way. Most players don't want to play defense the way he plays defense. He plays every guy up straight up. You saw him against LeBron rookie year. Like on defense, he's like so confident of what he can do and then he's the exact opposite on offense but I i'll say this this season no he was in a really bad slump as bad as frank is on offense the last four games was not how he has been his career it's been right. it's been who he's been at times when he just like gets really bad low on confidence he had a, uh, um, uh, a situation like this is rookie year he had a situation like this is sophomore year where he just had this period where even like three four games without scoring um and it's all confidence at that point because it's not your ability to shoot it is your confidence. You can see, Damian Lillard spoke about this in an incredible post-game interview he did, that it's knowing that you did the work and being confident. And Frank's confidence just is too, it's up and down. And when you see it start to percolate a little bit like it did tonight, all of a sudden he's doing extra things, right? The Magic aren't a great team, but with down bodies, he's a fourth point guard technically, Alfred Payton, Derek Rose, and Emmanuel quickly. So this is all we need him to do. Tibbs likes him. Tibbs is playing Frank. Tibbs wants to use him. And I think once everyone's back, we start using Frank as a mainly like three uh, guy at the three, playing defense, playing, putting him on the main guy. I want to see Frank on the top guy because he's going to annoy these guys. Yeah. Even though I know he's going to get fouls, I feel like you got to use the team the best you can, right? So with Frank, let him use all his energy on defense. Let him focus on shooting on offense. Keep it simple. He's a player who's who's valuable when he's good and fine. Oh God, it, it, it felt like so long. I'm like, Frank, just give us something tonight. <laughs> and Reggie Bullock tonight, stepping up, giving us 20 points, three assists, three rebounds. Again, I, like I said, I think he was one of the guys for me who was on that, on that three burner stove that was going on because he came out of nowhere and gave us some fire. I like when different people step up and give us heat checks for just a little moment in the game. You know, yeah. like someone doesn't have to be hot for the entire game because sometimes you need different people to step up uh, depending on the quarter that's happening, right? You know, like that third quarter that we had that 16-point lead. And I was like, great, this is good. This is the third quarter next. And then, you know, we started to lose that. And then the fourth quarter got... I, I, was, I couldn't believe it got down to like a one-point game. I was oh, like, what? God. Are you kidding? So, you know, but Reggie, sorry, talking about Reggie tonight. Um, th this was nice. I don't expect this from him every night, but it was nice for him to come out and we need guys, like I said already, that can score the three-point. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I was going to say, you're missing the biggest thing. Look at Reggie in the clutch. He made the play that won the game. Right, right. right. Well, 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 so you, so you talk about that. Yeah, the thing. Reggie came in on the last possession. I was kind of surprised Frank wasn't playing, too. Especially, like, Tibbs was doing, like, offensive versus defensive subs. So when we had the ball, though it kind of, it was weird. Like one time he put Frank in on offense and had Burks on defense. When Fournier hit a big three on Burks, I was so annoyed Frank wasn't in. Because one thing Frank does really well is he covers guys off ball really well. Like he sticks to them like glue. He runs, he's in your face, he does that. And Fournier was hitting shots, I thought. And that's his fellow Frenchman. I was going to say. Team, it's Frank and Fournier, the point guard and shooting guard. So regardless though, Reggie comes in in the clutch. Great defense, the final possession. He gets all the... I, I loved watching the team together at the end after Reggie made the big lead. You saw Julius come up, chest bump him. The team rallies around him. Reggie Bullock has been through so much. Obviously, you know, losing... Uh, was it? Is it both siblings? His, his both sister. His, his, his two sisters. sisters. Two sisters. His two sisters. And then even last year, he had a really bad injury, like the pinch, whatever it was. Right. The neck thing. The, so, the like, yep. Yep. Yeah, he's been through a lot. And even last year, he didn't play much. He came on a little bit, played a little bit. So I'm so glad that this year, he's earning himself. He's earning his role. He's playing good defense, hitting his shots. And he's been hitting his shots really well recently, actually. Since the break, Reggie's been killing it from deep. So he's got to keep yep. this up. I, I was so happy watching that moment. This team 
Someone in the comments, I know we're gonna get to, I don't think you have any comments tonight, but someone in the comments last video said that this team is more likable than the 2013 team with Melo and uh, I mean, we're really good. And I kind of get what they're saying because we're kind of scrappy, we're underground. We're like, we're trying to get there. We don't, we don't, we don't have any stars, right? We've been discounted. Right. That's our homegrown, tiny. also our homegrown team. We very much, we very much feel like that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, um, let's talk about it. Alec Burks tonight, who have yeah. gave us twenty-one points, two assists, ten rebounds. Again, another player who, what, what I, what I feel like I'm, I'm getting with the team is like this flexibility within the team, right? Yeah. So, like yeah. everyone can do a little bit. Everyone can contribute again, like at different times. And Alec Burks has been giving us some points. So, this was what we uh, want to see from him. Yeah, he's been um he he's frustrating because I think he sometimes he's better than he plays and it annoys me. Tonight he hit hit his shots and we need it. But like I said, we're down four bodies. Like I, as much as you want to criticize and take this and that and the other about the game, missing four guys that I like I said are considered potentially starters because Alfred starts when he plays, Mitch starts, Rose mm -hmm. would start if Alfred's not playing, mm -hmm. and quickly start. Like they're all guys who you consider. Yeah for us so even though it's yeah. not really for starters it kind of is in a way it's rotation right. players so the fact that we're getting through these games the nba season is long you just got to get through it like don't no no use going on oh, man the land orlando suck we should have done better yeah we could have done better right. but given that hopefully rose is coming back soon mitch is coming back soon we're seeing some good things i'm just hoping derrick rose actually uh doesn't suffer from COVID, the effects of COVID, because they jason tatum was pretty bad for a while uh, after he, he was there at the game tonight. They showed him there. He was hanging. He was yeah. he, uh, he actually sh uh, shot and, sh and uh, shoot around. Because we, uh, sorry, he shot and shoot around before okay. the uh, game. So I don't think that there's a COVID protocol still in place if he's out there with no, the guys. He's out of COVID protocol, but he had it. And Tatum was bad for weeks after COVID. It, it affected gotcha. his breathing. Like gotcha. so. I mean, Rose isn't. You know, he's gonna play spot minutes. He's not gonna be like a thirty. I mean, Tibbs might want to play him there. He's not gonna play 30, 40 minutes a game. So hope we can ease back into it. RJ again. What else you want to say? Every night, just getting it done. Nine boards tonight. Top on the boards. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm happy. With RJ. I mean, yeah, our, RJ and um, RJ and Julius are the yeah. two. They they play every game. Um, I think <laughs> RJ played. 40, I think RJ played forty one minutes tonight. So. These two guys are definitely the heart and soul and the staple of this team, right? Um, I think when Mitch comes back, we're assuming that he's staying with the team. He's going to be part of that lineup as well, um, and Emmanuel quickly. So right now, to me, this is this is Julius and RJ's team, right? He, yeah, he, he's, a, he's a close, he's a close second captain if there's such a such a person. <laughs> he's a vice captain. There you go. The vice captain. And what's crazy is they both have the captain vibe. And I, I was really against the idea that they could work together. I will take my L. They're proving that wrong. They're playing incredibly right now. Now, we're about a week away from the trade deadline. So, about a week ago. About a week in the future. But oh. <laughs> um, it's interesting. So I want to bring this up because there are rumors. I'm going to give you the whole situation. Lonzo Ball has been so good this season. It's, he's the same year as Frank, so he's in his fourth year as well. But he's taking a clear step forward. I think he's shooting over 40% from three, which is crazy because he was pretty bad from three before. He's playing really well. He's 23 years old. He is a restricted free agent this summer, which means the Pelicans can match any offer right. that the Knicks make, or anybody, anybody makes. Now, the interesting thing is they may want to trade him before they get to offseason. Because if they get to the offseason and someone pays too much for him, they just lose him for nothing, right? But if they trade him now, maybe they get a pick, maybe they get something. So right. I think it's going to be going into next week. I am. I was against it earlier. I am so on the Lonzo Ball train. I am so ready. His dad, Levar, Levar said today, he said he, he hates it in New Orleans. You know, Levar, I got to put himself in there. And Levar, funny enough, Levar wanted him to come to New York. I remember that. I, was I remember team. that. I remember so, that. I would say I feel like our team's in a good spot where, like, in terms of the culture, that if Lonzo came and LeVar came with him, it wouldn't be a thing. And Lonzo's right. been so good this season. Uh, I, I don't know what trade, I don't know what the Pelicans could want, but I will say this. The Mavericks have been winning a lot recently. So their pick is now, like, in the 20s. Okay. So it could be a good bet to, to trade that pick before it ends up worse. Right. And maybe get Alonzo ball back. Because um, we, we, need we need point guard help. I know we're down guys right now, but we still need right. point guard help. I want to ask you about uh, Kenny Payne. Oh, yeah. The, the because, I mean, we're loving him being here right now. I think he, I think he's so responsible for a lot of what we're seeing going on with these Kentucky guys. So what's happening with him? Is he getting a head coach offer? 
Yeah, <laughs> DePaul University. We, I mean, is it DePaul University or college? I'm not sure. But where it's DePaul. I know Quentin Richardson went there, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, will he? Uh, it's hard because you don't want to lose him. But it's funny, right? We're waxing poetical for months about how amazing Kenny Payne is. It makes sense someone would want to hire him for more than his work. <laughs> Yeah, right? like Richard, this guy's the the big man whisperer. He does this, that, and the other. Kentucky sucked this season without him. Right, it made sense. Right. People are looking at what the Knicks are. They're like, "Hey, look, Kenny Payne's on the bench. But what could he do as a coach?" And if you're Kenny Payne, how do you turn that down? You can't down. You can't turn down a head coaching job. That's what you're in. The, that's why you're playing. That's why you're doing what you're doing. Yeah, everyone trying to get to the next level, right? It's like some. It's like you being like a good player off the bench, and the team is offering you a starting starring role. And like, yeah. nah, I'm good. I'm just gonna stay on the bench. Like, that's not what you're in this for. Yeah. I, I think they moved to New York for the long. I think in his mind, he was like, I'm going to come to New York and we're going to go through this rebuilding thing. I think he probably thought he'd want to see this team get far, then maybe leave after like he really did his work. So I know there's a part of him that feel unfinished business, but you got to take the interviews, man. I can't keep a black man from applying for a job <laughs> in America in 2021. <laughs> All right. Oh, boy. What's the, what's the next? What do we got? What do we got, what do we got next? Um, you know what? When do we play next? Uh, Sunday we play. Uh, we play the 76ers again, so that's going to be our little our rebound game, right? So, oh, you know what? It's it's Sunday, so we have all those days off. Get Friday yeah. and Saturday off. That's yeah. excellent because I'm pretty sure then by Sunday we're going to get at least one guy back. And it's I think Sunday it's evening, eight, Sunday evening tonight. game, Sunday at eight o'clock. So Perfect. we need we'll some time off. This guy's got to get back. Yep. Yeah, all right, guys. Peace, guys. <laughs>